Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. As clearly stated in the title, we are going to make Chun-Li from Street Fighter. She's one of my favorite childhood heroes from Capcom, aside from Morrigan and Cammy. Chun-Li pretty much got me into the fighting game genre since I'm always drawn to strong female characters and Street Fighter pretty much ignited my obsession. I loved using Chun-Li. My favorite games from the franchise is Street Fighter Alpha 3, X-Men vs Street Fighter, Marvel vs Capcom, and Pocket Fighters which is so freaking funny. You guys, if you have played Pocket Fighters, it is literally the most comedic fighting game ever. They are in their chibi forms and I don't know, it's just hilarious watching them fight. She was the first female fighter of any fighting game, which makes her such an iconic character to this day. Ayo, look like I'm going for a swim. All in all, Chun-Li is a formidable character, which led to her mainstay in the Street Fighter series and also spin-offs and collaborations. With that being said, let's get started. I will be using three dolls to create the perfect Chun-Li hybrid. I'm using the torso of a broken purple top made to move and Mulan's head from the Disney store. For her hips and legs, I'm using this curvy made to move Barbie. Since Chun-Li's legs are darker, I thought this would work well. I'm just going to cut both dolls waist very carefully and combine the purple top Barbie to the curvy legs. To have a better transition, I'm using epoxy sculpt to blend the two together. I added wire inside her body just to keep it static and so that it's easier for us to actually blend it with the clay. And since Chun-Li has a larger bust, I also enhance her chest, and this will actually make her waist seem smaller too. After it dries, I sanded everything to smooth the edges together and made sure it blended perfectly. Carefully removing the legs, I'm gonna go start and paint the body to blend it all. I mix Mod Podge and acrylic paint to resemble a close skin tone match. Then I use cobalt blue color and painted on some high-waisted underwear and sports bra. I didn't want to color match her entire bust with the skin color, so I thought a sports bra would be a better look. While her top half dries, let's go prepare our brown pastels for her legs. Chin Li wears brown stockings, but I thought it would give me more freedom and posability if I just shaded her legs darker. So I kept layering and layering pastels until it looked perfect, ah, but this is what we got. So after wasting half a can of Mr. Super Clear, her legs kept being scraped and although the look is perfect for what I wanted, I knew that this was not acceptable, unfortunately. I'm just kind of upset because this took so long and like I said, I wasted such a good amount of Mr. Super Clear just for all the work to go down the drain, you know? It's just so sad. They ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. So I just decided to make her stockings. Which means that the needle and thread gods will be gracing me with their presence once again and throughout this entire video. So I actually made two stockings, one in medium and one in dark tone to completely mask her legs since one will actually still show the scrapes underneath. It's a mess you guys. <laughs> this dilemma came as a blessing however because I thought that I should make her thighs even bigger since that is what Chun Li is known for. So I used scrap fabric and remnants to stuff her thighs and butt but you can also use pom pom balls, yarn fluff, cotton balls or anything really 
really soft and malleable. And to show off her new figure, I put on her blue underwear which was created by Atelier Official. But I think the body looks amazing so far and we can go and start with her face. To start, let's go ahead and take all of her hair off. We will actually be rerouting her with dark brown acrylic yarn using the rerouting tool I got from dollyhair.com. I only rerouted the perimeter of her head and also the middle for her part. I put more in front too for her fringe. You don't want it to be too thick. It naturally has a lot more volume than regular nylon hair or regular doll hair. So yeah, I would advise not to plug everything with yarn. To lock the yarn in place, I squeezed Fabri-Tac inside her head and be very generous with this part because you don't want to end up pulling the yarns out when you brush them out. And now we have a really cool looking Mulan. She actually looks like she could be mixed, like it's very like Barbie fashionista's line, you know? After a day or so of drying, we can start by detangling the yarns. I use two kinds of pet brushes, a plastic one and a metal one. The plastic is used to detangle and separate the yarns, and the metal one I use to make it more fluffy! Then I take my hair straightener and I started straightening the yarn section by section. This part right here is so satisfying and she kind of looks like Megara from Hercules here. After everything is straightened, we should have something like this, and as you can see, it looks like she has a full set of hair. It looks like we individually plucked every single hole, and because our hair is going to be tied up anyway, our main goal is to completely cover the entire head, and we have achieved that. I'm going to put her hair in ox horns for now, so it doesn't get in the way of our repaint. As usual, I take my acetone to remove her factory paint. After that's dried, I primed it with MSC or Mr. Super Clear, which is also what I use to set and save the layers of work that we are going to be doing. Then I sketch the features lightly with watercolor pencils. This look is actually very clean and minimal, and we're going to keep it that way. I gave her the iconic brows that she always rocks, which is a short and angled down brow. She usually wears solid lip shades, but I decided on a natural take on her lips by dotting pastels onto it. And then I go ahead and fill in her nostrils. I try to do this in most of my dolls, just to give it more of a realism and attention to detail. I also wanted to give her some baby hairs on the sides, kind of like baby sideburns, to shape her face a lot better. She's usually given red eyeshadow that extends her eyes and also acts as a wing liner, so I went ahead and added that as well. Let's go give attention back to the brows by darkening the ends, and also giving her pupils and wing liner. Since Chun-Li's eyes are brown, I went ahead and highlighted the bottom part of the iris to be a little lighter and to have more of a warmer tone. It is a good way to show off color and also dimension when it comes to the eyes. I'm adding highlights to her lips to create more of a natural texture and I'll also highlight her cupid's bow and nose. I'm giving her a pair of subtle lower lashes in brown, just so that it doesn't compete with the rest of the minimal eye look. I also took out my white acrylic paint to make her scleras whiter and to also add the catch lights. I forgot to film this part. 
but I also glossed up her lips. And with that, we are finished with her face up. Now it's time for her outfit. This beautiful chi pao was made by Atelier Official on Instagram. You guys should definitely check him out. He makes beautiful contemporary fashions and the quality of the clothes are impeccable. As usual, I'm pretty particular though with the fit and how things look on dolls. So I'm actually going to add pom-pom balls inside her sleeves to emphasize the shape and the scale. I just made a small incision and inserted the balls, then sewed it back with an invisible stitch. I know, I know. I'm sewing invisible stitches now, you guys. <laughs> See, I think it looks so much better. And now let's go ahead and do the other side too. I'm cutting the hem of her sleeves to create the lotus petals. Then, I use various widths of gold trims to create the pipings in her outfit. For the skirt part, I decided to sew them on instead of gluing so that it retains flexibility when I blast air on her. And I do the same exact thing for the back. Then, to add small ornate designs, I use metallic paint to blend it with the trims. Doing all the pipings were so time consuming because I had to be delicate with the placement or else it's there forever, but I think it worked out well in the end. While I work on the mundane of doing all the piping and painting all of the ornate designs, let's talk about your favorite characters when it comes to fighting genres. Like I said, my other favorite characters is actually Morgan and also Cammy. I don't use Cammy as often just because I just don't know how to control her, um, but I love Morgan. Chin Li and Morgan are my two go-tos when it comes to Capcom fighting games. I really really hope that in the near future or whenever that they make another X-Men something fighting game because Street Fighter vs X-Men was literally the best thing ever, Rogue was so powerful in it, like everyone was just so amazing <laughs> in it but one of my fantasy fighting game is actually x-men versus justice league or like marvel versus dc or something like that i know that they make a lot of emulators that does that but i want like an official like 3d characters and you know multiple skins and all this that's just my fantasy <laughs> And after two minutes in video form, but in reality it was probably like three days, we are finally done with customizing her chi pao, and I love it so much. I'm so excited to see everything together. For her belt, I actually used the stretchy fabric and sewed hook and eyes onto it. I know, she's sewing hook and eyes now you guys. <laughs> Then, for her spiked bracelets, I used a thicker pleather and rolled it into this unbaked cinnamon looking shape. Um, I just couldn't find beads that is perfect for a Barbie wrist, so I decided to just make one myself. Then, for the spikes, I got them from Amazon and they were the perfect scale for the doll. I just super glued it to the cinnamon bracelets that we created, and that's pretty much it. I've always wondered if these gave her function, but I'm thinking because she uses her legs more that these would actually help deal damage if she had gentle fists. Now let's go ahead and place it on her wrist. And when you guys remove made to move Barbie doll hands, be careful because it can also break. Uh, surprisingly, everything breaks. <laughs> For the bun cover, I just cut a circle out of a white fabric, I then whipped out this thin white ribbon and made a bow out of it with long tails. Then I painted the edges of the bun covers and the ribbons gold. Do, 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 do. 
To create the mini ruffles, I just stitched white thread in the perimeter of the circle, leaving a reasonable gap from the edge so that when you pull it close, you get a natural ruffle, almost looking like a coin pouch. Then I'm just going to sew the bows in the end. Let's go and finally give her a haircut. I trimmed her fringe and I made it into a good length where we can still curl it and manipulate it. Then we can go unravel her buns and also trim the hair so it's not so bulky. She actually looks good with twin tails. She looks younger for some reason. After trimming her hair, let's go ahead and put her hair back into the ox horns very very neatly and we can go ahead and place the adornments on her hair. After that, I'm going to give her white pearl earrings and... Oh! Hold on. Someone's at the door, you guys. Give me one second. And look what came in the mail! I got these boots for her from eBay and they are a perfect match with Chun-Li's boots. The only difference is that it's grey, obviously, and it doesn't have the thick panel on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint the entire thing with several coats of white acrylic paint. And then I take a thicker white pleather and use super glue to attach it. And that completes our Chun Li. Choose your fighter. Chun Li. Chun Li versus Aja. Ma, what did she say? Oh, you're going down, sis. Fight! Hadouken, Hadouken to your face. Hazan shoot, spinning bird kick! Ah! Ah! Ma, why you gotta be so violent? You know what these nails are for? Acrylica! Did I win? Am I Valentina? Am I a model? Broken! Ah! Her perfect ear beautiful. Oh. 